Hello everybody, it's Tass and welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing another Polly Pocket House. This one is by far my favorite one that I have done yet. This is based off of the real life Aladdin one and what's cool about this one, I didn't understand it when I was first looking at it, but the bottom section is kind of supposed to look like the scene when they're on the magic carpet and they're flying all over the world and they're seeing lots of different things. So the bottom basically has like a bunch of iconic style buildings to represent different places from the world. And at first I was like, what is all this? Because I saw like a Greek style building and then I saw a very like Chinese style building and I did not understand. And then it occurred to me, of course, it's when they're flying over like the world basically. So this bottom part is probably one of the most fun things I've ever built in The Sims just because it's so different than anything you would ever need to build otherwise. So it features like this little lagoon thing and I have no idea what that is supposed to represent if anything or they were just like, oh, we need some kind of a body of water and Egyptian pyramid. And then some kind of ruins in the right-hand corner, some kind of a Japanese temple in the left-hand corner, and in the middle area is like a Greek or Roman style building. And I really, really had to use my creativity when it came to building some of these things because obviously there is just no, nothing like that in The Sims. And I cut a lot of this build out because it was a lot of messing around with stuff and just trying to figure out how I was going to do it. Like the Egyptian pyramid, I tried so many items in the game and then I figured, you know what, I'll try a roof, but then the roof doesn't really come in a nice gold color like I would have liked. And also, you can't put like a roof in an enclosed room. So I had to like cut the wall open. You could see the hole in the wall because it wouldn't allow me to have the roof in there if the room was closed, but then I figured out how to close it off anyway. So this build was ju definitely just like a lot of creativity and a lot of using random pieces to see what I could come up with and see what I can make. But you're going to see at the end here and especially in the screenshots, if you stay tuned till the end, it really does come together and looks exactly like what I was trying to do. So wait for that. And also I will be flashing images on the screen of what the actual Aladdin Polly Pocket house looks like so that you can kind of get an idea of what I was going for. But Obviously, one of the things I had to do right away when I started this build was just make it bigger. So this lot, this house is just slightly bigger than some of my other Polly Pocket houses because there wasn't enough room to do everything that I needed to do with the size that I had given myself. And so this one is going to be just like a little bit bigger. So if you're one of those people who's been downloading all of my Polly Pocket houses, I do believe that this will still fit on the smallest slot in the game, and that's what I was trying to go for with all of these Polly Pocket houses. I don't know what the size dimension is for that lot, but I've just been trying to make sure that they always fit on that lot because I feel like if you can put it on the smallest lot in the game, then you're really helping yourself out as far as like anybody could download it and put it in and do whatever they want. And this one, surprisingly enough, again, it really doesn't use a lot of custom content because I've just been trying to go out of my way and like not use custom content. I always end up using pieces here and there, but even when I use something, if I notice that it's custom content, I'll try and go through and find something that's not so that I can just make it a little bit more accessible for other people. But the reality of it is that I have so much CC in my game that I just can't go without using some of it for a build. I've actually tried and even by accident sometimes I'll use it or it'll just show up and say that I've used CC even when like I've gone through and kind of made sure that I didn't. Like that happened when I did my Sailor Moon Silver Millennium build. For some reason that shows up on the gallery that I've used CC but I specifically went out of my way to make sure that it didn't. So I don't know if that's just a glitch that I have for my gallery but it definitely happens with pretty much everything that I build. The most annoying part about this whole entire build is the stairs that I had to do on the temple. So basically I needed stairs to be three across right next to each other and if you're a builder in The Sims you know that you can't place stairs that don't like line up to a wall. So I figured I would use shelves 
and kind of like raise them up a little bit here and there just so that it would kind of look like stairs when it's all done and it does it looks really nice when it's finished here but then I had some issues so I saved it and I realized that well actually when I saved it the first time for some reason I saved the whole house to the gallery just to like save myself an extra copy because when I do something like really big on a build that takes a lot of time I will usually save it just in case something happens to the gallery just so that I can like have a version of it available and I saved it and for some reason those stairs the shelves immediately crashed down to the ground as soon as I had saved it which has never happened to me before and I was really upset so then I replaced all of them and then I was looking at it and I had the build finished and I was like you know what I need to take pictures of this on a different lot because I wanted it to be on a sandy lot so I saved it to the gallery, moved it to a different lot, and put it on a different lot, and of course the stairs crashed again. They went down to the ground. So I was like, great. Redid all the stairs, raised them all back up, and then was like, wait a minute, I need to leave this build mode. I need to go get myself a sim so that I can go into like a better picture taking mode. So I left, went into create a sim, came back to the build, and the stairs had fallen again. Ah, uh, so I imagine if you download this build from the gallery, the stairs in front of the temple will probably not be risen up. They will probably all be sitting flat on the ground. You may have to do that yourself, but I did go ahead and like save the game once I was like playing on the lot and get rid of like leave the game and come back in and they were still risen up when I did that. It's just when you place it for the first time. So unfortunately, I think that's what's going to happen and I've had that happen before. But sometimes, and I don't even know why, it's like, why do they have this feature where you can take items in The Sims and raise them up and down if, when you put it on the gallery for people to download, they can't actually have that? Like, they have to still place everything by themselves because part of the point of having something on the gallery is that other people can download it and they don't have to do it themselves. So... I do think you are going to have to raise the stairs up yourself if you want them to look like that. If you don't want to do it or you don't think you can, you could just get rid of the temple or whatever you want to do, but I did want to warn people about that because I feel like I'm going to get some kind of comments letting me know that that's what's happening and there's really no way for me to fix it and there's no other stairs that I could have used that weren't custom content, so you could do that. You definitely could go find some like short custom content stairs and place it in front there, and you would not have that problem at all, but obviously it wouldn't be functional. Like, not that it is as it is. And with all of these Polly Pocket builds, one thing that you have to keep in mind is that the stairs situation, I don't put stairs in a lot of times because they're not even shown in the Polly Pocket houses, so you will have to use like the transport to move up and down between the levels if you wanted to actually play on the lot so that is another thing to keep in mind but i am really totally in love with how this entire build came out especially the upstairs portion one thing that we don't have in the sims is just like a lot of cultural kind of looking objects so i did really struggle to find some things that looked like they might fit a little bit more in aladdin but I think I managed to find a couple of good pieces in the game to pull out and use and they really worked because obviously one of the big things that I wanted was windows. I think that if you're going to do like an Arabian style build, there's a very specific kind of window that gets used in a lot of those kinds of buildings, but we don't have that and it's like a square window with kind of like a point at the top and that really, really would have brought the whole thing together. But we just don't have anything like that and I've talked about this before but I would really really love to see the sims put out stuff packs that were maybe a little bit more culturally based just so that I feel like it would be a really way good way to be very inclusive to other people because even if you watch like youtubers that aren't American sims youtubers they'll talk about how like some of the things in the game are very Americanized and I've heard things like just even, you can't really help it because like w at the end of the day, the game is made in the US, so it's going to obviously have a lot of things that are US based and American based and American style, but there are some things that people who play the game that are from different regions in the world might be looking for and aren't going to find because 
they they just don't do it because the game is made by a bunch of people from the U.S. and they don't really think about those kinds of things when they're doing the build and especially when it comes to stuff like this when I am looking for something that is very like specifically cultural. They don't have anything like that and it's a little bit disappointing so hopefully in the future maybe they will put a little bit more emphasis on that and they already have just a little bit like when they released the free update and of course in these builds one thing that i always like to feature is the statues and those statues are by a cc creator that makes like all disney statues and to me they just look like the little Polly pocket characters so i like to put them in all of the builds my little mermaid one has one in it Belle and beast are featured in my beauty and the beast one and if i do any more i will probably feature them as well but obviously they're just like giant statues so if anything, if you were really going to use this lot, they are 100% in your way, so you would have to get rid of them. But I really don't design these lots to be, like, usable. I like them to just look nice, and I think that people just enjoy watching the creativity behind these kinds of things. So let me know what you think of this, because we are pretty much at the end here. I didn't really do too much to the outside of this as far as landscaping went. I did actually end up moving it over to a different lot four pictures because the sand was just really not working in this town. It didn't look right. So the screenshots are going to be featured from a different town and a couple of palm trees and some rocks just to do a little tiny, tiny bit of landscaping. But let me know what you think of this build and what you think of my Polly Pocket series. Have you been enjoying it? Do you like Disney movies? And which one is your favorite so far? If you've watched all of my Polly Pocket videos, which one is your favorite? Little Mermaid, Beauty and the Beast, or Aladdin? Because this one is definitely mine. So let me know down in the comment section. And thank you so much for watching. All of my social media is going to be linked down in the description box below. You can check me out on everything and anything. If you enjoyed this video, please like and share it because it really helps me out. Hit that little bell icon below to turn on post notifications so you can get updated every single time that I post. Also, if you enjoyed this video, you should subscribe. I do stuff like this all the time. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will talk to you all next time.